In this video, I am going to explain two things that can be cause for headache. First thing is this one. This is nerve. This is greater occipital nerve. Greater occipital nerve. This nerve is from cervical spine 2, C2. And this nerve emerges from back side of neck and it goes up, it goes up, it goes up and all the way up to parietal area, which is top of the head. This nerve is very, very important for headache. When this nerve got impingement, that can create headache around this area. This nerve can be caused for migraine especially migraine that is from back side of the head. Now, how can this nerve get impingement? That can be various reasons. Maybe this muscle gets tight. What is this one? This is trapezius. If you look carefully, there is greater occipital nerve beside trapezius and maybe this muscle can get tight this one this is sternocleidomastoid let's say SCM sternocleidomastoid greater occipital nerve emerges between trapezius and sternocleidomastoid so when trapezius and sternocleid mastoid gets tight space between here can diminish that means this space can be narrow then what's gonna happen to greater occipital nerve this nerve can get impingement what happens when nerve got impingement that can create numbness or pain there can be other reasons such as whiplash car accident and head trauma let's say somebody got a car accident and sports injury this area that can create trauma here now trauma can tighten up muscles and ligaments and nervous tissue what's gonna happen to greater occipital nerve that can get damaged which leads to headache right I focus on greater occipital nerve a lot for headache and neck pain this nerve is very very important for pain around back side of head and neck this is first one greater occipital nerve very important nerve now let me move to next one now you see brain do you remember this is greater occipital nerve when greater occipital nerve got impingement that can create headache but it is outside of head right next thing is membrane that is covering brain that is dura mater dura mater dura mater is membrane that covers brain dura mater is the outermost membrane okay this membrane is very very important i focus on this membrane for headache and head trauma and neck pain i work on dura mater for almost everybody in my clinic why is that so important when membrane gets shortened that can create tension for brain that can create tension for cranium that can create headache yeah that makes sense but how come tightness of dura mater can create tight neck neck pain okay because everything is connected by membrane in human body okay basically everything is connected so this dura mater is going somewhere where is it going it's going to spinal cord 
Membranous connection is still going. Brain to spinal cord. So, dura mater goes to this way. Like brain becomes spinal cord. So there is membranous connection here, right? So let's say when dura mater gets tight here, this tightness and tension can go to cervical spine area. Okay, that's why tightness around the dura mater can create headache you know, or neck pain, neck restriction because of membranous connection. The reason of uh, tightening up dura mater can be varied. It can be from head trauma. It can be from car accident. It can be from concussion. Or maybe from a subarachnoid hemorrhage or brain contusion. When surgery is necessary, that is for doctor, right? The manual therapist cannot treat such a sickness, right? But beside that kind of things, after concussion, after whiplash, after a car accident, and there's no problem for brain tissue, now manual therapy can help for such a headache if that is from tightness of membrane or tightness of nerve. I focus on these two things for headache and neck pain a lot. I love working on greater occipital nerve and dura mater. If you liked today's video, please hit the like button, comment, and subscribe. See you next video.